I think she should have ended the book right there and the other half was unnecessary. I really loved him. He's such a nice guy. He's the perfect idea of having a partner. Wow. Because I and welcome to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a while since I posted uh, videos. I've been like on and off on YouTube, but I promise I'm gonna be really regular from now onwards. So today we're gonna be reviewing the entire series of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. So this series has been trending on book talk, especially the first book. I don't see people reviewing the other books much, but then since the first book has been trending everywhere, I decided to review it. So initially this book was uh, recommended to me by a subscriber and uh, I went ahead and I read that book and I really loved it. And after that recently when my cousin got a couple of uh, the books in those series, I decided to read the entire series. So here we are about to review one of the most popular series of book talk. There are four books in the series. The first book is called A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. The second book is called Good Girl Bad Blood. The third book is called As Good As Dead. And then the fourth book is called Killjoy. Okay. So the first book starts like this. Pippa is a girl and she is a student and she's 17 years old. As a part of her school project, she takes up uh, investigating a murder case that was closed six years ago. The murder case is that of Sal Singh and Andy Bell. So Sal Singh uh, was accused of murdering Andy Bell, but then Sal Singh was also found dead. A lot of people were speculating that Sal Singh after killing Andy Bell must have killed himself. The case has been closed, their family has been shunned. Okay, so there is a little twist in this plot and so I'm summarizing it all for you here. So Andy Bell's murder, that's the case we're investigating. Sal Singh dated Andy Bell and uh, Sal Singh has allegedly killed Andy Bell and uh, we are still not sure of that and then later Sal Singh committed suicide, we are not sure of that. But then where the hell is Andy Bell's body? So Pippa decides to reopen this case because she finds that the supporting evidence does not really support the conclusion of that case. So she goes up to Ravi, who is Sal Singh's brother. His name is Ravi Singh. She decides to dig out facts and solve the case of Andy Bell's murder. So I found that the first book has a lot of plots and twists and a lot of the evidence that has been collected actually makes sense. And you know, the supporting details, the facts, how the author has actually, you know, tried to uh, put in the facts and all of that, it has been great. So I think the first book is definitely a must read and I would rate it a four out of five stars. So the second book in this series was my most favorite book because it had the best plot to it and um, you know it had very unexpected twists and turns. Of course the first book also had unexpected twists and turns but the second book also had an emotional touch to it. So towards the end of the book I found myself crying and that was a thriller. Can you imagine like you know a reader crying over it. It was great and um, I really loved the second book. So of all the books in the series, the second book was the best. So after solving her first case, Peppa releases a podcast which goes viral. So in that podcast, she talks about all the things that she did and how she went about solving the murder of Andy Bell. So now she has decided not to investigate anymore. But this time someone close to her goes missing. So she is dragged back into it. And the story leads her to a lot of places, it leads to her a lot of other cases and uh, you know finally the ending is just mind blowing. So the second book is definitely a must read and I would rate the book a 4 out of 5. No, I would rate the book a 4.5 out of 5. Okay, actually I would rate the book a 5 out of 5. The third book I felt was um, a little long for my liking but then the plot of the third book was good as well. So after resolving her second mystery, Pippa receives anonymous notes from somebody and they all say the same thing, who will look for you when you're the one who disappears. And to actually confirm if her fears are real, she actually sees things materializing in front of her that appear as threats. And the worst part is the police don't take this as well seriously. So I feel that in the third book, if the author had concluded the book in the half, first half itself, like it would have still been a complete story. 
but then the second half also feels good the second half you know brings out some really great characters and you know also brings out the character strength of these characters involved and uh, so that is how i enjoyed the second part as well but i personally feel that it could have ended in the first half but the second half included a lot of facts that i wasn't aware of before so i think the author has researched this entire thing really well and uh, then has put down those things so i personally like the second half as well but i just feel like you know it could have ended in the first bit itself and my rating for the third book is it's a 4 out of 5 okay so now moving on to the first book a uh, fourth book so in the fourth book uh, the characters of the story they play a game of murder mystery so the fourth fourth book did not really appeal to me much i would probably rate it like you know a uh, 3 out of 5 Nevertheless I read the fourth book as well to finish the series. So if you're buying the entire series as it is then it is understandable but if you are buying see the this one books one by one I feel it would be best to skip the fourth book and probably just borrow it and read it. That is my personal opinion. So the series ends at book 3 itself and the fourth book is just an add-on. So with this we done with the video. I hope you loved the uh, review of this series that has been trending literally everywhere and you could make a decision for yourself if you should read the series or not. So let me know in the comments below if you've already read the series or if you intend to read the series. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and um, stay happy, stay blessed. Bye.